Hey guys, today I'm popping to um, a garden centre because they actually have a zero waste shop there and I'm just, just doing my weekly kind of top up of food that I need like pastas, just generally like dried goods and stuff and I thought I'd take you with me because I haven't actually done a vlog about this before. Um, yes, it is an essential shop because it is food at the end of the day. You can see kind of what they put on offer. I've been to a zero waste store before and that's in Leon C called the refill room um and this one is like amazing as well so i go there quite often especially like since lockdown and stuff um i prefer to go there and obviously be a bit more eco-friendly than keep buying things in like tesco's instead of topping up jars that i already have at home so um yeah i just thought i'd bring you with me so you can kind of see what things they have in store let's go So today I'm only picking up some pasta and some plain um, flour as well, so not that much, I'm just doing like a quick small shop. They also do some gluten free pasta as well, as well as whole wheat and white. And they're always filling up with new stuff. And they've also got some flour mints as well, which is a new one. And this is my mum's favourite, British grown at Jumbo O's, and she just cooks that over the stove. So loads and loads of cereal options, especially for kids at this moment. And I love fava beans as like a little snack, so sweet chili flavour is delish. So they've got loads and loads of big tubs of plain flour, ground at, ground at almonds, <laughs> can't even speak, demerara, demerara sugar, desiccated coconut and then self-raising flour. They also do crisp, which I've never seen before in a zero waste shop. They've got parsnip crisp and sea salt crisp, and they're in these big tubs. Um, and you can have, you've got your scoops here for clean and then used scoops. But then you've also got these, which kind of filter out nuts and non nut products to keep it nice and allergy friendly with some of these because these are quite big open open parts when you want to put them into a small jar you're going to need to filter them through there so it doesn't like spill everywhere so this is the rapeseed and extra virgin olive oil that i use for cooking all the time i haven't tried their organic balsamic vinegar yet because i've still got some at home from another brand and then they also have nice um jars of organic apricots chocolate brazil nuts chocolate buttons really great for uh, cooking and stuff so these are all kind of the sweet naughty part of the store yogurt raisins then you've got some for like baking and cooking so you've got cranberry soaking apple juice organic mango organic raisins walnut halves and you've also got dates and these are the dates that i use for um sticky toffee pudding and just in case you didn't think it could get any better they also have loose leaf tea um for you to try so they've got the prices on the side here and then they've got all the different flavors that you can get here and then they've also got two different coffees at the side so you've got filter coffee and then espresso coffee beans which are two different ones and just in case you've forgotten some of your jars they actually have a whole jar section from plastic and glass that you can like top up on so just in case you've forgotten something and you really wanted to buy something you can actually borrow some of theirs and you can always give it back or you can just keep it so they've got like this whole system going on which is great because i don't see that in a lot of shops 
So here's the selection of kind of big containers because you can top up on the larger liquids from over that section over there. You've got some plastic bottles that you can reuse for again washing up liquid, anything like that. And then you've got the glass jars here. So I'm going to try and find a nice one for the jumbo oats for my mum. So underneath their herbs and spices, they've also got some containers as well, which are um, new containers. So you've got some of these ones, the kind of longer jars, and then you've got some um, oil and vinegar kind of bottles. And you've also got some bamboo uh, products there as well. On the main table in the middle, you've also got loads of like beauty products and beard stuff and all sorts of bits really, like candles, socks. So yeah, this has got like a lot and I'm gonna show you what they've got. So they've got some socks, they've got some kind of a bit more shavy beard oil products here, hair clay, got loads and loads of different things. If I didn't already make my own kind of products like this, I'd definitely be kind of investing. The only thing I can't make myself is a face cream, so this is quite interesting. What's this one? White tea and lavender face cream. Looks like it's got some really good stuff in it. But um, yeah, I can kind of make most of the other Kind of products like scrubs and stuff if you want me to show you how to make those then please let me know because then i can do that but it's got some leafers some crocheted face scrubby so if you can crochet you can make some of these yourself which is quite cool um and yeah just like lip balms hand creams this is from the molly and grace range also got the malden soap company here so um they've got lots of different products from different brands more kind of independent brands we've also got olive and ivy um, diffusers and also candles as well which just look incredible and then if you want an alternative to, to um, kind of candle wax and diffusers, you've also got these wax melts, which sound amazing. Pink fins and pomelo, like a very rare kind of scent that you could get there. So then they go on the top of the burner and then you put a little candle here and then it burns it. So yeah, and then we've also got some beeswax. I think these are beeswax wraps, aren't they? Yeah, so I don't think they're quite vegan, but they are nice for a cling film alternative. They also have some brushes for washing up and they also have some beautiful bags as well. They literally make the most of all the space that they've got. They've even got loo rolls on the other side, if you can see. So there's loads of products to choose from. And if you've forgotten a container, you can also get some um, paper bags or you can obviously use the containers that I've just showed you. They've also got some empty bottles that you can use with spray tops or pump tops, which you can buy as well, just in case you've forgotten anything yourself or you want a complete set of the same kind of look. So you can fill up with loads of hand soap or all sorts of liquids really. Here are the <laughs> loo roll brands and also kitchen towel brands. So you can get a nice big box of them, 24 in a pack for two ply. Um, and they are £14 per box. And they are actually made of 100% recycled paper, which I find really cool. And just in case you have that incredibly sweet too, if you've also got like loads of vegan sweets here, and these are my favourite, like the giant strawberries, not necessarily the fizzy ones, but the giant strawberries. So they are, I think they're all vegan. Okay, this one isn't, but all of them are either vegetarian or vegan. Oh, these two. <laughs> oh, these three, sorry. That makes sense, they're all in a row. So you can just grab and then pick a mix, one pound per 100 grams. So loads of different things to choose from there. From these big vats, you've got floor cleaner. Anti-back multi-surface cleaner, toilet cleaner, bathroom cleaner in the scent eucalyptus and also white vinegar which you can add to lots of different products if you make them yourself to clean and then you've also got these huge huge vats here which have got neroli scented laundry liquid and it has all the prices on the side if you can see and it's got fabric conditioner and again in the neroli scent so you've got all your laundry sorted out and you can obviously fill them up in small buckets or you've got very very large ones here that you can fill up as well so you don't have to keep driving backwards and forwards if you're not local so you've got these kind of little um, buckets here just to catch any drips but you take those off you put your container under here and you actually lift this to kind of pump it in and you kind of use the pumping motion there and then put that back on so that it doesn't spill in everywhere all over the floor then you've got toilet bombs these are kind of like bath bombs if you if you will but for toilets and then it kind of cleans the toilets so you have to give it a good scrub afterwards um, then you've also got hair shampoo, hair conditioner, then you've also got fig leaf hand soap, you've also got washing up liquid in ginger, you've also got body wash and hand and body lotion. 
So there's so much to choose from, it's so exciting. But I'm, because I come over here all the time, like I'm only picking up like a few items. So yeah, I'll, I won't be doing like a big shop because um, I've actually topped up on quite a lot of things already. So yeah. So I've just finished up my shop in the sustainability store and I'm just in the garden centre at the moment. They're taking down all their Christmas stuff if you can see. And it's like lots of sale stuff at the moment. Not that I'm going to buy anything but um, I just thought I'd find a quiet place to come and show you what I've got. So I got some spaghetti. I got handmade strawberry jam and this is from the owners of the shops. Um, I think it's Grandma I want to say. So yeah, winterberry and cinnamon, which just sounds exquisite. I love a good jam. I also got some penne pasta. I got some plain flour, just here. I might as well show you the price as well. So that's one pound 11 for a whole big tub of that. I got jumbo oats and these were 96p for this whole big container as well. My spaghetti was two pound 42 the jam I think was about three pounds something I don't think it actually has it on it and then lastly I've got the penne pasta oh such a big jar for two pound 18 so I think all in all it was good it came to about a tenner so I think I did very well so I'm gonna sign off here thank you so much for watching hopefully it inspires you to go to a zero waste shop instead of like a big supermarket you'll generally find that they are quieter they appreciate your business because they are independent and of course it saves on plastic and just helps the environment so give it a go and you'll find that they do have really good prices and some some of the things that they sell you might have a premium on them just because they are made from smaller um, brands but it's 100% worth it if you can afford it but you can definitely find things like flour exactly the same price if not better than shop prices so give it a go and thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you later bye